floods RS etc., agroforests with humus and dike, sustainable solution of the causes etc., and action plan for existence. The basic problem of RS etc. are not rain or controlled water, but flash floods. Flash floods destroy everything and are what then flood and destroy cities, ports, crops, lands, erosion of top layer and emission of carbon dioxide. Pampas, Atlantic rainforest, Mata Atlantica, forests, agroforests etc. A flash flood or flood is nothing more than one or more flash floods that come together and become a flash flood or a flood. An example that demonstrates the difference between a lot of water and flash flooding can be seen in the Netherlands, which is one-third below sea level, and on top of that receives the largest rivers in Europe, all without problems, until now, because flash floods are prevented from happening. In the case of RS and other places that suffer from floods, what resolves is a significant transformation of monocultures into enriched agroforests, because the soil with the roots of the trees and the microbial enriched soils of these agroforests are capable of absorbing and passing all the water in excess to the aquifers. Enriched agroforests, with deep humus, produce and yield 100 times more than monocultures, without or with shallow humus. A simplified way to understand this extreme productivity of enriched agroforests is to remember that this is because the total biomass it produces is also 100 times more, and much deeper into the soil and with much higher vegetation. The water passes from the agroforest to the aquifer, as if it were tap water passing through a sieve that controls the water but allows it to pass through well. Where the danger of flooding exists, a solution is to surround several properties with agroforests with dikes of 2 meters or more, let's agree to call them tank agroforests. The ideal is for these tank agroforests to be established at higher levels, topographically higher level, compared to the cities, ports, etc., which are at risk of flooding, and on both sides of the river or downhill paths where floods can descend. The soils of these tank agroforests absorb the water and sediment filter any dirt organic that was pumped into the tank agroforests. The caretakers of the tank agroforests, Decide whether they consider the sediments that could have settled on top of the soil to be favorable or unfavorable. As the water entered in a controlled and filtered way through the tank agroforests, the sediments in general will be very favorable for the fertility of the soils of the tank agroforests, the same as the Nile River Delta in Egypt and the river deltas in Mesopotamia. Tank agroforests are surrounded by simple dikes, made of sand or other semi-permeable or even impermeable materials, and are therefore safer than agroforests without dikes and also have unprecedented potential and additional benefits. These dikes are open at all times and will only be closed when there is a flood warning. If a significant flood could pass through the area, the ideal would be to protect the dikes with stones etc. However, agroforests with their immense root systems already protect simple dikes, this even without additional stone protection. If necessary, tanks, reservoirs or lagoons can be excavated within these tank agroforests, something that would yield the material to reinforce the dikes from within. The resulting tanks within these tank agroforests can prevent flooding, even when water will be pumped into these tank agroforests to alleviate and protect unprepared cities, ports and crops further down, topographically. Certain of these agroforest tanks will be filled with roughly filtered excess water to prevent flash floods, in a controlled manner, and such controlled filling will not harm the agroforests that will control, filter, absorb and pass on the water to the aquifer. In fact, trees and their roots will also fill with water, and eventually increase evapotranspiration. Pumping with gravity and if necessary with electrical energy or another way, of the waters collected and decanted within these agroforest tanks, can be pumped, up past the heads of rivers in the region to rivers from another region, in the case of RS into the Uruguay River and all its tributaries, that do not flow into areas that suffer from flooding. They would further complete the already complete protection of the agroforests' tanks, joint effort and efficacy. In the ideal case these tank agroforests already can be found close to the river heads, the distance to be pumped may be short, in theory only meters. When you look at any map with the rivers of Rio Grande do Sol, presenting the river basins and subbasins, you will notice that the area and number of rivers that do not go to areas with critical flooding and floods, that direct to the river Uruguay, are much larger than the rivers they go to the areas susceptible to flooding, towards Porto Velho and Lagoa dos Patos. These tank agroforests could also surround the Atlantic forest, Mata Atlantica, and Pampas, native also protective pasture with shrubs, if there were any Atlantic forest and Pampas in the region, and if they might need protection by dikes. These pumpings into these tank agroforests can be or for maximum safety should be started weeks or even months, also to test systems, pumps and floodgates, before the dates warned as dates of possible floods and will leave rivers and mainly all lagoons and eventual dams with an unprecedented capacity to receive the expected water because of the by pumping away created water deficit and now with buffer or increased flood absorbing potential. Turn the acute problem into a permanent advantage. 
These systems, pumps and floodgates can, in times of no risk of flooding, serve to irrigate the same agroforests etc. and together constitute the most productive region in the world or one of the most productive regions on this planet, including for rice, which also is possible together or in combination with agroforestry, while at the same time eliminating all the risks and damages that are currently present in this flood and calamity, with no way out due to not presenting enriched agroforests, dikes, etc. These agroforests, etc., if well-developed, make unnecessary all technical and non-productive solutions such as canals, like a new canal from Lagoa dos Patos to the sea and dams, on the rivers that flow into the region, susceptible to flooding, towards Porto Alegre and Lagoa dos Patos. All technical and non-productive solutions, in our view, are slow proceeding and expensive works, which even pose new risks that are potentially more destructive than the current floods. If you liked or believe in solution by enriched agroforests and the biodiversity life and exceptional production they bring, and if you want to encourage rural and even industrial producers to transform their lands from monocultures to enriched agroforests with a lot of biodiversity please subscribe to this channel and give likes and contact us, because at this moment there is no other initiative or other action plan that could lead to or solve these floods and other threats, climate challenges, effectively and naturally with enriched agroforests. Please click to watch other videos or the following playlist. Diets solve disasters and challenges at no cost where this action plan is explained in detail and also what you could do, at no cost, for you and the world both at the same time.